guy he came back to London and he contacted the owner. He said, I, I know you want five million pounds, but I, I'm only going to offer you 200,000, which he didn't have either. And the guy says, that's ridiculous. And about six months later, the same offer came. The gentleman came back and he says, you know what? I've never seen this island. I don't know what it is. I'm just giving it to me and my family. Can you get me 180,000 pounds? And what did Branson say? Yes. Did he have 180,000 pounds? No. When you are given an opportunity, what do you say yes to? You always say yes. You never say, I wonder how I can afford it. He said, yes, I'll take it. Now he has to go raise the money. What did he do? He talked to his mother. He talked to his friends. He begged, borrowed, done whatever he had to do to pull the money together to buy that island. And it was that thinking big, it was that stretching his mind had to accomplish something massive that is the way Richard Branson thinks. He thinks that way before he was a billionaire. That is why he is a billionaire. Therefore, if you want to be a billionaire or a hundred forward, guess what you have to do? You have to say yes to big ideas. Now, when I went to his island, I was invited to come speak there. I got to take my wife on her birthday in June of 2008. And we went to, to Necker. I've always wanted to go there. And we got a chance to, to stay in that particular home. It's magnificent. It's incredible. This is the home which unfortunately got hit by... Uh, uh, a lightning about six months ago, uh, I think it was last December or something, has burned down. He's going to build it all over again, and it's going to be better than it was before. But it's a spectacular island. We had dinner on that beach. And when I got... That's interesting. It's okay. It's all right. It wakes us up. They're all asleep out there. When I came down, I said to myself, well, if Richard can do it, I want to do it. And this whole really inspired me. So, what I'm going to challenge each of you to do is when you think big, then think big. Envision yourself having a home like Sir Richard Branson. Imagine what it would be like five years from now if you can wake up in the morning in your home. And that's what we did. When my wife and I got back home, we said, you know what? We have a nice home now, but we want a home like that. <laughs> so it was the worst economic time. The world fell apart in the fall of 2008. What did we do in the fall of 2008? We made the plans for our home. We said, hey, I'm in my 60s, it's time to build the home of our dreams. Although the home we were in was better than anything you've ever seen. And so we did, we built it. We looked into it a year ago. And we did it because we dream that way, we think that way. Sometimes you gotta figure out how will I pay for it? Well, you know, Wealthy people don't ask that question. They say, I want it, and they go do it. Figure out how to make it happen. So this is my home. This is where we, where we live today. And can you believe that I left this home with my wonderful wife to come here to talk to you in a small hotel room over here? And why do I do that? Well, why, why does these people come to sing. I was, Neil Diamond was here a few months ago. Why does he sing on that stage in there? He has a home that's beautiful. He, why does he come to this center and sing his song here? Because that's what we do. This is my song. This is, you're hearing my concert right now. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, ask